Good morning, and uh, we are now on a train in Oslo, and we are heading to Bergen. In Norway. We're in Norway yes, now. Yes, we're in Norway. Um, and we have just purchased some first class tickets in a scenic train, which is considered one of the most scenic trains in the world. It goes for almost seven hours. Um, and we're first on, well, I think we're pretty much first here. So, mm. that's cool. Yes. Anything to say? No, I'm too tired. Okay. It's early. Yep. Alright. Well, we're going to film all the beautiful spots. So, yeah. Very excited for that. Cool. So, stay tuned and we'll show some really, hopefully, hopefully really nice footage. Um, so we'll see you soon. seven hour train ride. Yes, it's very beautiful. It was very beautiful as you've probably already seen. Um, and I was just saying then as we arrived, you can see in the background there the trains are, um, time goes quickly when it's scenic. Um, it's just more enjoyable. You get to see where you're going as compared to a plane. Um, yes. We would prefer to always travel by train or bus um, for sustainable reasons, but also just it's more enjoyable, really. Yes. Yeah. That was cool. I think you might be able to focus. Oh no. Um. Yeah. Now what? Well, we decide whether we walk 20 minutes with all our shit, <laughs> <laughs> or we try and find a bus. So, and then food. Food. I'm so hungry. Tash is more hungry than me. 
I had half a subway. Yeah. All right, we'll head off. just arrived in our Bergen home and it's really beautiful really beautiful um, it's like a retro decoration I don't mm. actually know what you would call it but it's just lovely like all wood very old style it's got this TV that looks like a painting on the wall wow that's a TV <laughs> That yeah. is a TV. Wow. <laughs> um, music system. I really hope I can play this. I want to plug that in. It's so nice. Don't forget the views. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. wow. <gasps> Have a look out the window. Oh, my gosh. It's kind of got 70s, 70s vibe. Mm. Really nice, even a view here. Wow. Do you want to open this? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> but that's a nice view. city too that isn't dirty and depressing it walking through just then even with all the bags as you saw it was just such a I don't know how you describe it it's got that real coastal town feel mm. and we arrived in really good weather which apparently isn't common apparently it's been very stormy and wet so flooding flooding non-stop rain so we got very lucky again beautiful views Mm. So yeah, I mean that's it really. Do you want me to huh? Do you want me to film you? Okay. Come back into the main room. <laughs> I 
All right, so now what? Uh, we've thrown all the luggage off. Can't believe we just carried that so far. Well, we didn't film the stairs that we just had to climb. Oh, I can show the it stairs. It was quite a climb to get here. So we had to, that's the top. <laughs> and we went all the way down to the bottom there. After going down a very steep hill. When we actually could have stayed on this road here, yeah. we accidentally went down one level. Which actually looks like three levels. Well, it's just the beginning of our training scheme. Yeah, we will be doing that. an eight hour hike. I don't know how you're going to do it. Don't! I don't know how you're going to do I've hiked it. fucking volcanoes. I've hiked the Andes in Peru. It looked like you were I've going to die. I've altitude. It looked like you were going to die here. Yeah, maybe because I'm carrying fucking 25 kilos. <laughs> and my bag's all the way down here, so I can't even lift my knee up. So I had to do this. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so the, the woman of the Airbnb just said that um, she has some restaurant recommendations and obviously we're just thinking, well, we don't give a shit because we're going to vegan places. But then she said something about like all the vegan options because her and her boyfriend are vegan. No, they're not. They're vegetarian. Oh, really? <laughs> I, thought I just she looked said, in the fridge. <sighs> yeah. Well, I was going to say then she, as she was showing us her washing machine, she's like, do you use wool? And I'm like, no, because we just yeah. said we're vegan. And she's like, oh, but we use wool all, yeah, we use wool all the time. And I was just like, okay. What is their breast milk in the fridge? Ah, uh, there's honey, there's cheese, and eggs. Gross. Sad. Yeah. I'm hungry. All right, let's go get look, you some food. Look at this. Wow, <laughs> look at you go. actually doing push up. That's pretty good. <laughs> pretty good <laughs> considering I haven't had lunch yet. Yeah. <sighs> okay. All right. <sighs> lunch time. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Are you going? Yep. It looks extremely dangerous. <laughs> Why? <laughs> We are now going to a place called Dirty Vegan. Yes. They got some fat burgers, so I'm starving and I'm gonna have a nice fat burger. Let's you do it. You have a fat burger? No, I don't feel like a fat <laughs> burger right now. Oh, okay. I've already had us half a Subway, and so maybe I'll just get a drink. All right, let's go. You first. Let me get you standing with this view. Well, hey! Oh, out of focus. That sun's pretty intense, to be honest. Oh, it's doing this weird focus issue. No! I think because it's in the aperture of 22. That's right now. Alright, let's go. is extremely beautiful every building the colors it's like didn't expect it at all like when I booked this place I just expected a coastal town village not much at all especially coming from England this is proper European and it's beautiful <laughs> Yeah, 
Australian? Oh, yes, sorry. we yes. are. Yeah, from Western Australia. Oh. So this one's like a Big Mac. Big and Big Mac. Oops. There we go. Look at that. Yummy. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Just like oh. a Big Mac. Except animal abuse free. Tastes like a Big Mac. Except so much better. That nice. sauce. So good. Is it worth Honestly, 50 we, 52 dollars? Yeah. <laughs> so the meal is 52 dollars. Yeah. So this is a 52 dollar meal. But I don't care because this is an all vegan place and it's the only vegan place in Bergen. Because unfortunately, all the other ex vegan places. Now sell animals, which is so disgusting. And um, the guy here just said he would rather close than sell the bodies of animals, like a true vegan. So I don't care about the price Fuck as long yeah. as I'm supporting vegan places. Yeah. Look at that. Honestly, oh, so good. I'm gonna have to come back here because I'm not hungry. Anymore. It's so yummy. You'd be I so hungry. I want to. I want to. Let's just finish that first. <laughs> Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at that. Yum. Cool. Yep. I don't know what 10 is truly like. I give it 10 out of 10. I actually do. It's so good. Like, oh. No words. No words. You just have to come to Norway and try it. <laughs> this is on par with the best burger I've ever had, which is at I know what Sydney say. Place. Yeah. What are they called again? Soul Burger. Yeah. Okay. Soul Burger in Soul Sydney burger, is very good. Yeah. They also do a Big Mac. Just as good as their, just as good as their one. So fucking good. All right, I'm gonna buy one. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I'm filming you do it, girl. <laughs> He's actually getting it one. Even though he wasn't hungry, it was too good. Alright. Didn't take long for me to get for me to get one too. <laughs> it's honestly so good. So you already know what I think of it, but oh my god, it's slipping everywhere. That is some slippery burger. <laughs> It is really good. Very dirty. Mm. <laughs> it's hot. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> All right. Are you getting another one? I think I'm gonna wait maybe a few hours and come back for dinner and have another one. <laughs> the same one? Probably, it's so really? fucking good. You don't wanna try... I would probably try the chicken one. <sighs> the hot chicken. Maybe, but that was so good. It's yeah. difficult to not want the same one. Mm So, you're actually feeling pretty good after those burgers. <clears throat> no, they don't make, they don't really make you feel sick. Uh, yeah. After that kind of stuff, you normally feel like, oh. <laughs> maybe we we're just hungry, maybe it tasted really good, you know, it doesn't matter. But, we can burn some energy now, climb some hills, and we'll just recommend it then. By the owner, he said that there is a hill that we can climb, and because you rarely get weather like this, you might as well, and see the sunset on the fjord. So, yeah. maybe we will do that. Yes. Um, but we'll head back and 
have a think and maybe we'll then decide if we do the hike or we just chill out but we need to make the most of this weather <laughs> beautiful let's go Being filmed. Hello. <laughs> Don't. Hello. Don't be such a freak. Wait, how can I put it back on that? This. Whoa. Painting. <laughs> That's so weird. And Netflix. Sex education. The new sex education is coming out in 21 days, I think. Oh, wow. We'll be able to watch the new season of Travelling. Wee. <clears throat> we do like some sex education. Yes. The last one was so many years ago now. Really? I think it was before COVID. Oh, And wow. that's why it got delayed. Ah. And whilst we're in Norway, we can watch some Vikings. Ew. Alright, so what are we doing? I don't know, because there is a bit of cloud happening yeah. up on the hill. So we're not sure if we're actually going to go or not. I don't know if the cloud is really going to affect it, but it kind of looks a bit dark out there, so... We're not sure yet. So we are still indecisive about whether or not we will go up here. Um, so we're just going to kind of walk to the bottom of it and make the decision whether we hike up or not. I obviously really want to, but I only had three hours sleep last night and two hours sleep three nights ago, was it? So I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> but anyway, let's go. Let's do this. Looking at me. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, to the right. I don't know, it's just a funny angle. Okay, so we've now decided that we are climbing the mountain. <laughs> We're halfway up it, I think. And um, it's extremely beautiful. We just tried filming this two seconds ago, but I realized the audio wasn't on. And we went on a massive tangent about something we just witnessed. But we'll keep that for the end of the video now, because it is very depressing. And we want to try and enjoy this. So, putting that aside, what do you think? Yeah, it's nice. Oops, sorry, say that again. It's very nice. It's good to get a touch of nature for the first time in like six weeks of traveling through all these dirty cities and just arriving here is very nice. So it's good. Very tired and exhausted, so this is a struggle for me. But it's all part of the training for the big hikes ahead of us. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so. I'll keep recording the rest of the hike and we'll see you at the top. So that's where the gondola tram, whatever you call it, that goes up. But we are training, so we must walk it.
Oh, Pigunu's there. And that dude over there. Hello. <laughs> Some more dudes over there. I mean, trolls, I guess. Yeah. That's so funny. Another troll over there. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's a big guy here. Troll Skogan. Troll Skogan. The ultimate troll of Troll Skogan. This is the creator of Tasha's hate page. <laughs> <laughs> He is the ultimate troll. Yeah, I think his name is Morag. <laughs> Morag! Oh my god, we should put a photo side by side. <laughs> Morag Freeman. <laughs> name and shame. And the dude over there was John Mountaineau. Yeah. John O. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's go look at the view. That is a very sunny, sunny view. I can't look at it without glasses on. Um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. How'd you find the hike? Yeah, it was fine. Yeah. It's nice. It was yeah. nice. Um, yeah, so I mentioned earlier that we, uh, we witnessed something quite depressing. Um, a reality check. Uh, maybe you can describe what we saw. Yeah, well, firstly, just on the way to walking over to the beginning of the hiking spot we're walking along like the war i guess you'd call it like a wharf area so obviously what do you see at wharfs fish and chip shops like we're walking past this massive one you could smell the stench of the dead bodies of fish and other marine animals and i saw the dry skins of i think it must have been fish hanging in the store so I was just blocking my nose, trying to look away because it was so depressing. And then after that, we stumbled across this like marine life murder market, essentially, where we saw live crabs in this tiny tank. Fucking massive crabs. Actually, you got a video of it. I did, yeah. Oh, yeah. maybe I can show that right now. Yeah. So just massive crabs and, you know, their friends' bodies are being cooked up and they're going to be the next ones to be cooked. And if we do get footage of the whale flesh when we go back down, I'll show it right now. <laughs> if you're not seeing it right now, we didn't get it, but maybe we can just try and get it, just a quick zoom in video yes, of it. but we haven't spoken about that yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> My mind goes ahead. Okay, we've just cut that out. We'll just cut that out. Yeah, okay. And okay. then after seeing the poor crabs, I just wanted to move away because it's just so saddening. And then another stall grabbed my attention because I saw beautiful images of whales, moose. Do you say moose? Yeah, moose. If that's what they're called here, yeah, yeah. And uh, reindeers. No, I just meant like the plural. It sounds weird for multiple. Do you just say moose? I, I believe so. Okay. Because usually for words like that, there's like... Maybe okay, one whatever. is a mongoose. I could be completely wrong, but... Okay. Yeah. Anyway, the images of them in the wild, so it caught my attention, these beautiful images. And then I saw like these dried s sausages wrapped up and I thought, I Fuck. thought maybe at first just the... This, I guess the animals you normally see in sausage form, which is completely fucked up. Yeah. Cow, pig, probably those two actually, really. If you yeah. Know. Uh, maybe lamb. But uh, it then instantly I figured it out. You see the picture of a whale. Yeah. The moose, 
the reindeer above. Yeah. And you're just like, oh my god, reality check. Like and it's yeah, just like, obviously oh. it's, just, it's, it's just so shocking that we actually asked the guy. And he said, offered us said, is this whale? And then he said, yeah, you want to try some? Because they had this fle- whale flesh tasting fucking tray. And we just said, no, that's disgusting. And then... He said, are we, you an environmentalist? Yeah, are you environmentalist? No, we're against... And I said, no, we're against murder. Well, we are, obviously, environmentalists. But the reason we're shocked was because they're fucking murdering these animals. Yeah. And, and we were then discussing after, like... Wait, well, just a sec. Yeah. And then as we walked off, because we were both like, we want to fucking get away from this. This is really shocking. Obviously, there's no moral difference, but it's normalised for us to see the murdered bodies of other species, and that's just the way it is. But it could be a bit of speciesism as well, particularly for me, being whales, dolphins, like my absolute favourite animals right here. And it could be the speciesism as well, just being in that state of shock. But as we walked off, he just sarcastically said, thanks for your opinion. He kept saying other (laughs) stuff too, I wasn't listening. He kept going on actually as we left. He yeah, said, thanks he was. for your opinion. Blah 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 yeah, blah blah blah. Shit. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. He Sorry. was obviously a bit triggered when he instantly found out that we were against it. Yeah. Definitely. I wonder how many just... people are actually against it here and say something. He was quick mm-hmm. to figure it out. Maybe it's happened before. You would Probably hope. I would say just with tourists, I have a feeling yeah, it's very yeah. normalised here. It's a part of their culture, just like eating yeah. kangaroos. In Australia is a cultural thing, obviously, for all Western cultures, cows, pigs, fish, chickens, it's just a cultural thing. It's so normalised that most people engage in eating the bodies of these individuals. So I'd say for whales, it's probably the same here. Yep. And in kind of all these regions like Finland, you've obviously got the Faroe Islands where they do those, that barbaric murder as well, and it's happening all in this region. I was going to say, um, it's weird how it seems it's a horrible feeling, but it's almost a good realisation of the feeling you get when you see that and you're like, you really feel so emotional instantly. And then it reminds you that, wow, this is... This is this same feeling is what we would all be feeling for all animals we see in the in flesh form. Um, however, we become desensitized, probably for good reasons. Because if we felt like that every single day, it would be a horrible existence, right? But it's a realization that this is how bad it is. If we feel this way about seeing the whale there and the moose and the reindeer, I think I just knew about moose and reindeer. It's your hunting. It's a thing, right? But everybody is, I think everybody is against, except for maybe people that live here, um, the murder of whales. Well, Western cultures at least. Western cultures at least, yeah. Yes, yes. So I just think that that same feeling is the same feeling we would all be feeling for all animals, and that's just something to remember. That speciesism right there. It's just that we're taught from childhood that whales belong in the ocean and to love and yeah. respect them. Maybe and we study their other intelligence. Animals. Shit. I think a lot more people understand their intelligence but disregard the intelligence of other species. Yeah. Not that intelligence is the factor, but I don't know. That just shows how ingrained we are from childhood. Anyway, um, yeah, plan for this next few days. We didn't intend to do any activism. But after seeing that, we feel that we need to. Yeah. Not going to get that chance. So stay tuned for that. I'm sure a video will either be out already, maybe, I don't know, depending on when we get this vlog out. Um, or we'll try to do it after and show you what we decide on doing to speak up for these animals. All animals. But we'll specifically talk about the whales. And Anything to add on that? No. Okay. All right. We'll show you some final views from up here. And try to enjoy that. And yeah. It's hard to get your mind out of that, but it's just something we needed to share and it's a reality check.
really nice. You saw the sunset. Uh, it was just beautiful, honestly. It's such a beautiful location. And we've come to Los Tacos. And I've got myself a burrito. Um, so I thought we'd just do a little taste test. See what we think. I got the spicy vegan burrito. Tash got it without spice. Could be bigger, I reckon. I'm pretty hungry. So. some type of soy protein. It's got rice, it's got lettuce, and then like the meat mixed with the, sp the spicy sauce. It's good, it's good. But I don't think it really compares to the burger we had today and the amount of flavor we got in that one bite. But you know, it does the job. It's about a uh, six and a half to seven. Closer to a six and a half. It's still good, like it's enjoyable, especially when you're hungry. So lost tacos. Mm. Done. Oh yeah, you want me to end it? Okay. Alright, I'll end the vlog here. Tasty burrito. Well, what did we do today? Oh my god. Big day. I should just do a little quick account. We had the train ride starting at 6.30. We woke up at like quarter past five. Tash has barely any sleep. Beautiful train ride. Arrive in Bergen. Amazing. It's just an amazing city, honestly. It's taken, uh, it's taken me away. Blowing me away. Sorry, I'm a bit tired. Um, awesome hike. Awesome food. What more could you ask for? So, we'll see you in the next video.